Anita Rani joins me now. It's the most incredible story, Anita, and, and actually probably even more so for you because you're living part of your family's past and history here with your mum alongside yes, you. Yeah. That must have been just so moving. It was an incredible experience. 70 years ago, Pakistan didn't exist. This huge Indian subcontinent at the point when the British decided to leave India divided the nation into East and West Pakistan. East Pakistan later became Bangladesh. And my family, so I made a Who Do You Think You Are a couple of years ago and I found out that my grandfather, before he married my mum's mum, was already married and had two children and his father, who all lived in this house in what became Pakistan. He was away with the British Indian Army and the entire family were killed. They didn't make it out alive, so he was left totally alone. Then he married my mum's mum and had mum and then I came along and all the rest of it. But So it, for me it felt like unfinished business because I'd learnt about this wonderful grandfather of mine who my mum absolutely idolised. But I didn't get to go and see where his fam first family lived and I felt really connected to his first wife and his children. And yeah, so this is a sort of continuation of that, mm. and it's a it's an incredibly emotional experience, as you can imagine. Yeah, and you you do uncover some some awful truths. Yeah, actually, yeah. about um, family, and, and we, we talk about the partition of India, and, and a lot of people are just not aware of what happened mm. and how people were affected during this time. This was there were. I, I, countless numbers of deaths that they're not accounted for to this very day. Absolutely. And women suffered terribly I think during this period. Women suffered the worst. They say the figures vary, but they say 15 million people were displaced and a million people died. I mean, just think about those figures. And women suffered appallingly. Women had so little choice at the time about what to do with their, uh, their lives. I mean, men made all the decisions for them and they were used as a, as a horrible weapon at the time. They were abducted, they were raped, they were, you know, it was just, it's just really barbaric. And my family were absolutely caught up in that. And you're right, so few people know about it. And that's where this idea came from. Because after my Who Do You Think You Are, I got a huge reaction from people saying, Saying, we had no idea about this moment in history. How do we not know about it? How is it not taught in schools? And particularly British Asian kids not knowing about their own history and saying, oh, we'd sort of heard Granny say something, but you know, we, she, she didn't really tell us anything. And I thought, my goodness me, how is this possible that people don't know what happened in their own families? And it's only 70 years ago. This yeah. is the World War II generation. If we don't talk to them now, they won't be around much longer. Absolutely, and on those stories, those eyewitness accounts, yeah. they, they die sadly with these people and, and it's lost forever an yeah. awful lot of this history. I have no grandparents, no living grandparents left. Mm. And, you know, I sort of remember asking my granny, my dad's mum, a little bit, and she, what she told me was so hor horrific that, you know, it was just the end of the conversation. And that's the thing, it's such a painful experience that they lived through that how do you even begin to talk about it? It's like this collective silence. Mm. Um, and, it's a, and it's really painful, it's still a big wound. So this programme is just really, really important. It's the 70th anniversary and also I mean, I'm still getting, I'm overwhelmed at the reaction I'm getting from last week's episode. So many people saying the same thing. How do we not know about this? Because we've got to remember, even though it happened in India, Pakistan was created, it's British history. It's, it's, a, it's global history, but it's such a, a huge part of British history because Britain had been ruling India for 200 years at this point. And so this was the point when Britain decided to leave and then this happened. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And how does it make you look at your own family and your own heritage when you've you've stepped back in time almost yeah. and experienced it a little bit see i had this thing where i thought okay melt me who make my who do you think you are but it won't affect me that much because i know who i am and mum and dad brought me up but actually it totally changed my life the experience mm. because it made me realize that in such a short space of time so much has changed and i'm so lucky and privileged to live the life i have and to as a woman be able to make choices about my life freely and it makes me appreciate the sacrifices that were made by previous generations yeah. and also to see the shoulders that I stand on. And I think it's such a weird twist of fate, Christine, and it's so that here I am almost having one of the most painful experiences of my life on telly with my mum, but at the same time, it's because of my grandfather, this wonderful man who suffered such a horrific loss in his life that I'm able to discuss this massive event in global history 
on TV and talk about it and start this dialogue. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, just, I'm still trying to process what all of it means, yeah. but um, yeah, it, it's a moment in my career, I guess, because I've made a really important program, I feel, but also on a personal level, it's, it's life changing. Yeah, it, well, it, as we said, it's an incredible series. My family, Partition and Me, India 1947, tonight, 9 p.m., BBC One, as always, so lovely to see you, Anita. Lovely to see you too. It's, it's really emotional watching it. I'm just going to tell everybody that. Thank you so much. Thank you.